This is the iPhone SE. It's the newest iPhone from Apple, and it's also the cheapest, starting at just $399. In this video, we're unboxing the iPhone SE to find out what comes included, and I'll also highlight some of the key new features that make this $399 smartphone so great. Before we get into it, I wanna give a huge thank you to Mint Mobile for providing me with the iPhone SE. Mint Mobile is a prepaid cell phone carrier offering plans from just 15 bucks a month. I use them as my personal provider and I enjoy their service, and they actually have a pretty sweet deal on the iPhone SE right now. You can get the phone for just 15 bucks a month over 24 months, which if you do the math out, gives you a 10% discount. And you can pair this with one of Mint's plans, either their three gig, eight gig, or 12 gig options. Link in the video description if you wanna check this out, and thank you again to Mint for providing me with the iPhone SE. Let's get on to the unboxing. This is the white iPhone SE. You have a picture of the phone on the front. You can see it says iPhone on the left side and the right side, and you have the Apple logos on the top and bottom. On the back, this is where you can find more information about the device. You can see this is the 64 gig model, and you can also see the highlighted features up at the top, and you have the IMEI and device information on the bottom. Taking the plastic off and opening the box, the first thing you'll be greeted with is some paperwork. This is interesting to me because if you saw my iPhone 11 unboxing, Apple actually had the phone on top. So now we're back to the paperwork on top. Inside you'll find your welcome to iPhone quick start guide, your SIM eject tool, a warranty card, and of course, your Apple stickers. Next, you'll be presented with the iPhone SE itself. Let's set this off to the side for now and quickly go through the rest of the items in the box because, well, uh, there's only three of them. You have your Apple ear pods, and no, these are not the air pods, these are the ear pods. They do come with a standard lightning connector, uh, so they are just wired headphones. Underneath them, you'll find your standard USB to lightning cable. You use this for charging and syncing your iPhone. Do people still sync their iPhones these days? Regardless, you have your cable so you can get juiced up. Uh, and lastly, you have your standard five watt charging brick. Now the iPhone SE does support fast charging. So if you upgrade to an 18 watt power brick, you can get up to 50% charge in just 30 minutes and it also supports Qi wireless charging. So this is the iPhone SE. It's basically the processor of the iPhone 11, the camera of the iPhone 10R, and the focal length of the iPhone 8, all packed inside the body of the iPhone 8 for just 400 bucks. This is a really compelling offer for a lot of people because you get current generation performance at a much more affordable price. And of course, Apple is amazing with software updates, so you know your phone will stay updated for at least four to five years, which is honestly incredible. Along the bottom of the phone, you have your speaker grill and microphone port, along with your lightning connector. On the right side, you have your power button and SIM tray. On the left side, we have our volume rocker and our mute switch. Guys, shout out to the mute switch. I honestly wish more Android phones had this. And on the back, you have your camera. The new features of the iPhone SE include band 71, so you get additional T-Mobile coverage. This actually used to be for broadcasting TV frequencies, channels 38 to 51 on UHF TV, but it has now been repurposed to expand the T-Mobile network and coverage. So hopefully if you're in a more rural area, you can get better connectivity and signal strength using the iPhone SE. It's got the A13 Bionic processor, again, the same one found in the iPhone 11, and the camera got some major upgrades because of this processor. It is a 12 megapixel wide angle camera on the back, but now you have portrait mode with bokeh and depth control. You also have your portrait lighting with the six different effects. Apple says you have next generation smart HDR and you get advanced red eye reduction. The camera also saw some improvements for video. You can shoot 4K up to 60 frames per second, which is the same as before, but now you get extended dynamic range for video up to 30 frames per second. You also now get cinematic video stabilization up to 4K. Previously on the iPhone 8, this was limited to 1080p. You also get stereo audio recording and Apple's new quick take video feature where you can press and hold the camera shutter button to have your phone start taking a video and then you can just slide it over and boom, you're in video mode. The front camera also now supports portrait mode with portrait lighting, you have cinematic video stabilization, and you of course have quick take video. The iPhone SE is the iPhone 11 inside a smaller phone, so you get current generation performance 
inside a more comfortable form factor for a lot of people. You have Touch ID, you have some awesome camera improvements. And again, it's just $400 making this phone a great option for a lot of people. So that's what's in the box with the iPhone SE and a little bit about what's new with this phone. Thank you again to Mint Mobile for sending this out for me to unbox and share with you guys. Please like this video if you found it helpful and subscribe for more videos like this one.